<laughs> I, I don't particularly care much about romance in games. So don't expect me to go... Like, if it happens, it happens. But I'm not going to jump through hoops to do it. You know what I mean? So we'll check out him in a sec. Actually, we'll check him out now. He's a, ooh, he's a wild mind. Cypher spells have a chance to trigger an unexpected effect. This can manifest in spectacular ways, often but not always aiding the party. Sometimes, sometimes wild mind manifestations can cause undesirable effects. Wow. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. He's got good might. Not a ton of con. He's actually got a lot of resolve, which is nice, bit of deflection. Pretty average on the whole. He's got some stealth, some athletics, and the evenly spread out, to be honest. Probably give him streetwise. Lots of streetwise. Battle axe. Awesome. Brutal cuts. Blunderbuss. Haymaker. Now, it's, the, he's going to be melee, though. This is melee, is it not? So this is the barbarian, the core of their ca uh, class, as he does 33% of base weapon damage in an area on weapon hits. Yeah, every successful melee attack, he does a reduced damage attack on all other enemies within a short distance of the target, which is pretty awesome. Got Frenzy. One Rage. Basically instant. Oh, nice. 25% action speed. Minus 10 deflection. 5 might, 5 constitution for 17 seconds. Pretty cool. He's going to take big hits. We want to give him good armor. Got Soul Whip for bonus damage. Awesome. Wild Mind, so random stuff is going to happen. Awesome. And Tenuous Grasp. Oh, this is good. It casts fast. Big enough recovery time because of armor. Gives them shaken and confused. Pretty good, actually. Hell yeah. This guy looks great. This guy looks fantastic. So in terms of reputation, he looks fantastic. So Adair does like Jyoti pretty well. Nothing with anyone else yet. I am getting on well with Adair and Jyoti. Nothing with Aloth and obviously nothing with Seraphim yet. And then I've got some of these dispositions. I don't know how these work or if they level up or what the story is. I have no idea. But we've got those. She has nothing with anyone yet. Surpri I thought that she would with Adair, but not yet. Aloth actually likes Jyoti a lot. So he, uh... He doesn't like people that are irresponsible. He doesn't like people that are proud. He doesn't like traditions. Opposite of a dare on that one. He believes in benevolent authoritarianism. He likes people that uh, take responsibility, don't shirk, shirk from their duty. And he believes that people should be free to determine their own futures. So long as they submit to their authoritarian government. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. He hates Seraphon. Minus one. Omega lul. Okay. Seraphon doesn't really care much which either which way. Uh, he supports the pirates of the Prince Chippy. Dislikes those who act against them. Takes a dim view of racist comments and attitudes. Appreciates people who use lies, deceptions, and general chicanery to get their way. Lighthearted, impassioned, and worldly. Alright, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Uh, in terms of his gear, what's he got? He's got Seraphin's Padded Mail. Nice, it's fine. Medium armor. I think pretty good, actually. Looks cool. Uh, he's, got a, he's got a fancy gun. Oh. Hand mortar. Explosive shots. Oh, it does AoE damage. It's inaccurate, though. Fine. As long and stubby as its- as loud and stubby as its owner, this hand mortar marries the short wide barrel of a blunderbuss to the lightness of a pistol. Through hand mortars launch grenades and are unpopular shipboard and elsewhere due to the ridiculous nature of igniting one explosive to propel another. <laughs> Seraphon claims to have modif uh, had his modified to fire grape shot by a dwarf grunt, uh, gunsmith named Cassilianet uh, uh, he used to crew with aboard the Sorcerer. Despite doubts about the veracity of his story, the efficacy of the gun and the roaring cloud of burning metal it projects, 
is rarely questioned. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't area it does AoE damage. Interesting. So it's kind of like carnage on a ranged weapon. Okay. Then he has got a couple of pistols as well. I'll tell you what, hang on. Do I have another axe I could give you? I don't think I do. Axes are kind of nice. Bonus crit damage. This gives you bonus deflection. Stilettos. Penetration. Here, dude. Have a saber. There you go. He's got a saber and an axe. And then he also has ranged weapons. Now, the thing is, I think barbarians are melee. So, it's not going to work too well. What's this? Known locations. Oh, we can set course to places? Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Okay, great. Got a port ma mage. Mage. It's Yoda. <laughs> Wait, there was like a ship that was coming for us there. Oh no, he's just a merchant. Okay, that's fine. Um, need to go to the harbor. Yes. Take three minutes. Excellent. We have Yoda on our team. <laughs> Oh, the stream cares that I start romance correctly? Okay, okay, guys. Try romance for you guys. Let's take a look at his stuff then. Um, We could get some sleight of hand with him. Rob some people. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Let's get him streetwise. That seems appropriate too. Sure does. Yeah, so this thing is like melee in an area of effect. So he kind of wants to be in melee. Bonus damage when he's uh, below half HP. More stride, more weapon sets, unarmed. Barbaric yell. A five meter cone, shaken, minus five resolve. Okay. He's frenzy as well. An ability for one class. Barbaric blow. Does this cost? This costs rage, does it? Yeah. Barbaric Blow is an attack. Full attack means both weapons. Plus 25% damage. Area of effect with Carnage. 30% hit to crit plus 50% crit damage. That's pretty good. I guess. Let's just check. Does anything tie else tie in with Carnage? Sprint. Well, this is obviously short range. Oh, engage more enemies. Okay. You can't ever get these ones. Blood Frenzy. Critical hits bleed targets to raw damage over time. Attacks can stagger foes. Oh, nice. Minus five might can't engage for 10 seconds. That's pretty good. This is... Kills increase frenzy duration. Ghostly spirits spin outward when activated, causing freeze damage and terrified. This comes out of him. Terrified's pretty nice. Interesting. Very interesting. What's this? If the barbarian kills their target, their recovery is instantly refreshed. If the hit kills the target, the rage cost is refunded. Ooh. Savage Defiance gives a robust. 5 con, 2 armor rating, 10 health restored for 3 seconds. Wow. That's super good. That was like their, def that's their defensive thing. He's got leap as well. He jumps on someone, dazes them. That costs a lot. 2 rage only for that. Savage Defiance is 3 rage though. Yeah, kind of understandable. It's powerful. Concentration. Rage cost is reduced. Ooh, nice. 2 rage. That's pretty good. Sprint, ram sprint. Shifts nearby enemies back when activated. Gains concentration. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one, line sprint. Arch accuracy. We could make him ranged, even still. Give up the carnage. So he's kind of flexible. But you do lose carnage. And you'd lose the bonus carnage area effect. But you would get him to use range with his pistol. Weapon and shield. Two weapon style, I think, for sure. Thick-skinned. 
Oh, nice. Armor rating and more enemies engaged. More melee, isn't he? More accuracy with carnage. Damage against wilder. Two-handed. One-handed. Bloodlust. Ooh. 20% action speed when he kills an enemy. That's good. Fortitude. Reflex. Bloody slaughter. All attacks made against near-death enemies. Crit more. I like that, actually. That will proc... What was it? This? Yeah. Recovery instantly back. Rage cost refunded. That's nice. Bulls will. Combat focus. One stands alone. Barbarian makes a courageous stand against all attackers. Melee damage bonus. Requires an additional threatening enemy to become flanked. Okay. In terms of his ciphery stuff. If we make a melee. If we make a melee. <laughs> he will be bad at casting stuff because he doesn't have many ways to get concentration so he get interrupted with these long cast spells we can give him these fast cast spells strong and insightful it's okay I don't think I'll bother though he's got this one. Oh, this one's really good actually yeah this one's really good half a second cast time shaken and confused that's really nice so we'll leave that with him blinded could work but mega cast time. And trading visions. Iron will may be worth it. Lingering echoes. May be worth it. Unarmed weapon sets. He's gonna he will cast a lot more spells than us. I think we'll grab him this. He will cast spells a lot more often. Because we use soul annihilation, but he does not have that. So he'll need a lot more focus dumping abilities. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Let's get him penetration with spells. So that he can cast some aggressive stuff. Like, probably grab him mind blades, for example. Okay, great. Congratulations. You've leveled up again. I'll get you more sleight of hand there, buddy. Um, and we'll get you more streetwise. Oh, we're still on this level, huh? Maybe we should get this barbaric yell. It's pretty cheap to cast, isn't it? One Rage, does it get more expensive? It doesn't. We can't ever get the final upgrade, though. Probably still worth it. We get him damage bonus when he's injured. Or more Stride. Could be nice, too. But this Iron Will is just mega good. Lingering Echoes. He does debuffs, that's good. I might just get him the will thing. I feel like I want to, I'm gonna be using Barbaric Blow all the time. Right, get the kills. This is a nice debuff, but he has enough debuffs with the Cypher stuff, so we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We want to use the Barbarian to do physical damage to power up his Cypher. This is too risky to use, methinks. Um, I think maybe just Iron Will. I'm just gonna spam Tenuous Grasp on people, and then Mind Blades. Yeah, let's do with that. Let's go with that. Yeah. He's got Mega Will now, which is awesome. Here we go. One from each class. Okay. This is where it starts getting exciting. We got that Barbaric Blow, which is a big attack. Awesome. Next. Uh, over here then. Maybe these Mind Blades. Super fast to cast, so we won't get interrupted from no concentration. And it does pretty good damage. That seems nice. Draining Whip's pretty good too. Let's get him Mind Blades first. Okay, great. More weapon proficiency. So he's got Blunderbuss, which is... I don't know what it does. He's got Battle Axe. Can we get him something with... Accuracy. This is deflection bonus. This is accuracy. You could get on the saber. Engage more people. That's pretty good too. 
with a spear. Mm, that's damage, that's damage. Recovery. Lower deflection. He's gonna get hit by everything with that then. <laughs> um, engaging thrust. I get him this. Needle strike here. Strike with your rapier. More accurate. Or just get the more penetration with the. We'll get him more penetration. We don't have any other rapiers anyway. I think this is his final level he's got then with us for now. A bit more athletics for him as well, I think. We might need to give him stealth to use sleight of hand. That's worth considering too. A little bit of athletics though for a bit of self-healing is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, a bit more streetwise. We get him some intimidate actually. Or some bluffing. Get him some bluffing. Yeah, bluffing. There we go. That's, that fits in really well. Streetwise and bluff for this dude. Okay. Um... You have one ability. I want to get all of these. Like, two weapon style is mega good. Thick skinned is mega good as well. Actress's Carnage is mega good. That We don't need that one. There's a few things there we really want to grab. I think the best thing to do, though, is going to be get Draining Whip. More focus gain means more spells, means more stuff. Let's, let's do that. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations. Okay, great. So yeah, he can go in, he can Frenzy twice per fight, and he can Barbaric Blow once. A bit, that's a bit of a pity. One extra point would be great. He could Frenzy once and do two Barbaric Blows. It'd be really nice. Um, he has 70 max focus, not bad. So you can cast this, which is mega fast, versus Will. We can cast this for damage, which is also mega fast. Um, and it's versus deflection. Okay, great. So what's this do? 50% recovery time. 10% damage dealt is reapplied. For 60 seconds. So that's maybe good against like a dragon or something like that. That's going to be alive for 60 seconds. For now, that actually seems really rubbish. <laughs> that seems really weak. But that's probably okay. Okay, great. Do you have any quick items? Oh, he does. Dead eye. Accuracy, chance to interrupt. Okay, drugs. He's got some drugs. Got some bombs too. Some venom. Is that a healing potion? Moderate healing. He's got quite a bit of HP. Um. What's this that you have? Potion of Spirit Shield. Oh, that's nice actually. Yeah, you can have that. Combat only, yeah. Here, take uh Take this scroll. You're a scroll girl. You're a scroll girl. Look at this fine robe. Oh. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Hey! Hey, looking good, man! What, how do you look with a little hat? You look ridiculous. Like this one. Oh my. What about this one? <laughs> oh boy. What about this one? Evil hobo coming to get you. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. He still has this hat too. How do you look with this hat? Oh my. Look at this hat. Oh my. What about a hood? Yeah, the hood actually looks reasonable enough on him. Padded cap. Yeah, maybe not. You can wear a hood. You could wear a hood. Not see if you know hood though. Pirate Yoda. It's Professor Quill. Everyone loves this dude. Yeah, this dude is great. Okay, so you can go in with these. So his accuracy is 35, 35. We switched to range weapons, it's still terrible. That's that's fine. So you can do kind of both, I guess. But more melee, really. 
Yeah, his defenses are dark garbage. Holy shit, dude. This is a problem. Like, he's got lots of health, but he's gonna get hit, like, every single time. We'll try him in melee. If he keeps dying, we're gonna have to put it off. Uh... Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have got him Psycho Vampiric Shield. That would help him stay alive as well. We'll, we'll work it out as we go, team. We'll work it out. We can respec him if we really mess it up. We need to get supplies. We need to get supplies. Fresh Race fish. you to the coral. No contest. What? Just because you have webbed fingers and I can't swim? We have supplies here for the... Have a look. What do I need to get? I don't even know what I need you to get. Strange. What's our quest? Oh, oh, basic provisions. Oh, we're good. Okay, skeleton crew. Five crew members. One sailor down, four to go. Three more. I've got, oh, I only need one more sailor. So we've got a ship menu, do we? There's several jobs on the ship that the crew needs to fill while sailing. Every ship needs deckhands, cannoneers, and a helmsman. And all ships benefit from having a cook, surgeon, and navigator aboard. Larger ships even require a boat swain to keep the deckhands in order. Place a new sailor from your ship to be in a port. Click an available sailor from the known sailor section. Move them to an open role on the ship. Each sailor's different talents. Okay. Your ship... Your crew consumes food and drink while adventuring. Just morale. Yeah. Okay. So don't let them starve ever. Roger that. There are several jobs on a ship. The captain determines how likely the ship is to gain advantage. Oh, oh, so I think I'm the captain. Deckhands are required to perform any maneuvers in ship to ship combat. The ship does not have enough deckhands, it will move more slowly on the world map. The more skilled deckhands a ship have, the faster it uh, has, the faster it moves in combat. Okay. The boatswain can put out deck fires and stuff. Ooh. Helmsman is required for turning and jibe actions. Turns the ship's stern through the wind, shifting its relation to enemy that Okay. More experienced helmsmen make the ship harder to hit after performing turn and jibe action. Cannons need cannoneers. Surgeon increases rate of healing for injured crew members. Two jobs of no combat roll. Okay, the navigator increases speed on world map. Cook reduces food consumption. Oh boy! We've got a hull. This is good. What's this? Oh. Oh yeah, the Nub Ship Club. Awesome. Awesome. Set active ship. Triumphs. No triumphs. Travel speed, combat speed, health. So, I don't have any cannons. <laughs> On one, one side of my ship doesn't have any cannons. What's this? Obsidian colors. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. What do we have? The Watcher of Deerwood. Personal colors of the Watcher. Well, that's cool, but let's go with this. Oh, Ship's Carpenter. Two blessings gained. Okay, great. Uh, we've got lots of hard tack. Oh, here we go. But more hard, more hard tack, guys. All the hard tack. This reduces morale, though. Oh, yeah. Morale's going way down. Oh, my God. Uh, water reduces morale as well. Yeah, jeez, guys. Depreciative, please. Uh, what do we have here? Does this give morale? Ale. What's what's this? Our loaf. Here you go, guys. Be happy, okay? Be happy. Everyone, this is the best ship. Some fresh fruit. As well. There we go. Fresh fruit. Everyone be happy, okay? Some ale for you guys too, okay? Ale. Yummy, yummy. Definitely can't have this. That's mine. Do we any drink that gives morale? Ah, oh, rum. Here you go, guys. Look, listen. Everyone, celebrate us getting our ship back. Here's some rum, okay? Here's some rum. 
Okay, great. This looks fantastic. Known sailors. We got nothing. We got Bayadul. He's our helmsman. He's a novice. He can be a boatswain or a helmsman. We have Irena. He's our cook. He's injured for five days, though. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, old Engrim. I love this dude. He's our surgeon and our cannoneer. What's he working at right now? What is that? Is that a cannon spot? Oh, he's working as a cannoneer. Oh, he shoots both sides. I see. What's this? The surgeon. Maybe we should make him a surgeon. I don't know. This guy is a deckhand or a cannoneer. A tupek. What does a deckhand do? I don't know. Be a cannoneer. Shoot guns and stuff. Maybe we need one deckhand. I don't remember. We need a surgeon, a navigator, rest and crew, miscellaneous upgrades, a standard anchor, standard lanterns, a standard helm. What's this? Ah, grog. Guys, okay, so we got some grog. We'll hold the grog in reserve. If you guys are good, I might give you some grog, okay? If you're good, I might give you some grog. You gotta be nice to me. Let's check out, uh... Check out over here. This place will have sailors, I think. Deckhands make the ship go faster. Roger that. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Yeah, this is pretty intense. To keep to themselves. There's a lot of stuff going on with this ship stuff. This is totally new in Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire, so it might take some getting used to for me, right? It's got There's going to be a learning curve with that. The combat and stuff is pretty new, but the rest is pretty new. All right. The combat stuff is okay. This stuff's pretty new. All right, Thoro. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Ah. Oh no! Anyone looking to make some coin needs someone who can hold their own. In a oh, that's yeah. That's that's There's higher plenty on. Plenty of people looking for passage out of here. Let's see if any of them catch your interest. Okay. Okay. Hey, they're all free. Daily wages, one coin. They all eat one. Oh, he, she costs two. Okay, so she can be a navigator. So this is like tutorial stuff. She can be a surgeon or a deckhand. He can be a cannoneer. Uh-huh, he can be a cannoneer and a helmsman. He can be a deckhand. Or the mat. Okay, get them all, I guess. Okay, we got a full party. We could hire adventurers, we could rest. We could sell some junk. We sell our derpy old hats. I don't really want to sell all my hats. I like my hats. Keep the hats for now. Well, I don't need three with whatever those were. Hmm. How much would you sell for that? 200 gold? Okay. Got five padded armor. Here, listen, you can at least take four padded armors away. Thank you. That's a bit of gold. Uh, we can sell, so we have stuff to sell. We'll be fine. Okay, great. <clears throat> Alright, KV Strike, no worries, dude. Um, so that's that done, right? Blow the man down. Sail to Fort Deadlight. Ooh. Getting to Benwith. That sounds like fun. We should do that. Reach the city of Nekataka. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Hunt down our pirate, bro. Okay. Oh, so we need to assign people on our ship, do we? Oh, look, they've gone manually. So she's a navigator or a deckhand. You're a helmsman and a cannoneer. Uh, wait, what? Return to the shipyard at Nekataka to change that slot? Why? He's not a navigator though. What's he doing there? Hang on. This is our navigator. This you're a navigator. There we go. You're a deckhand and a cannoneer. You're a ca oh, only cannoneer, okay. Uh are you a surgeon? You're a surgeon. Okay, great. You can be a deckhand only. You can be a helmsman or a cannoneer. 
Well, that's fine. You can be in reserve for now. You can take over as a helmsman or cannoneer. But these guys are both deckhands. Cannoneer and a surgeon. Just a cannoneer. She's our surgeon. Cook. He's our navigator. Okay, this looks pretty good. Um, should we get more cannons? I'm kind of thinking maybe we should buy more cannons. Be safe, yeah? Let's check out the cannons. I think she sold cannons. Zip over here. We have supplies here. Have a look. You sell cannons, don't you? Oh no, she doesn't sell cannons. That's the death small thing. Ring of minor deflection. Battle worn grimoire. Heal fog, slick in, binding away from busting wounds. This has got nice spells in it. We'll, we'll live without. Okay, never, never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay. Let's roll, team. Uh, where's my ship? There's my ship. Let's go. I start want to save here, actually. A hard save. Uh, let's leave by sea. Yeah. Hey, let's do it. Okay, ship time. It's ship time, boys. Let's go sailing. <laughs> okay. Here we are. There's Fort Deadlight. There's Dunnage. Neck Attacker. Oh my god, all this stuff is really far away. I guess let's head that direction. Normal speed. Normal speed. What happens if I set Force for Force Deadlight? Oh, there's a shipwreck here. You come upon an abandoned sloop run aground on the beach. The nearby coral and volcanic rocks may have smashed its hull to kindling. There might still be something salvageable in the hold. Sift through. Oh, 17 ammo? Yep. New searching. Nothing of value left. What's this here? There's something there. Oh, morale gone down working with injury? Oh, dudes. Our injury's gone now, at least. Got something over here, too. Gunpowder. Port Deadlight. Through the distant haze of sea mists and rocky shadows, Fort Deadlight rises over the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture even for the most skilled of mariners. Any ship not flying a Principe flag that's sighted in Deadlight's shallows may be raided. Abaddon's Iron Scrote Cap. Them guns be even bigger than I remember. Theraphan looks up at the fortress from the deck and inhales through his teeth. I can be vouchsafe in you with the guards if you can be getting us to dock without them uh, being blasting th to bits thrice over. Otherwise, I'd be recommending the sneakiest approach you got. Yeah, I think we'll go sneaky here. Sneaky, sneaky. Sunlight glints sharply on the many points of the choppy, undulating sea like a shattered mirror spread out for miles. Drop anchor, you instruct your ship hands. Ready the skiff, we row for short nightfall. Yeah, I don't think our boat is good enough to take on a full fortress. Waves slap at the sides of your skiff, the only sounds aside from the occasional grunt of exertion as you ste stealthily row to the island shore under the Shroud of Darkness. Five hours passed. You stow your skiff in the shadow of the towering walls and creep forward in search of a way into the fort. Ooh, stealthy fort invasion. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll probably kill everyone inside, but let's see what happens here. Oh, there's Seraphim there on the load screen. And there's Palagina. Snuck into dead light before. Never had cool. Be keeping a weather eye peel for a way up. Uh, I, I found it. Rising like a tidal wave above the ocean, a white stone wall stretches into the sky. Halfway between Deadlight's battlements and the rocky cove at its base, an arched window opens into salty air. Inspect the wall. Jagged stones jut from the wall often and at irregular intervals. Half crumbled, they look sharp but sturdy, may be able to hold a person's weight. The window is high, but its sill is solid, uh, carved right into the wall. With a strong enough toss, a grappling hook could grip onto the ledge. Yes, yeah, use a grappling hook. Uh... Strong toss. That would be a dare. I could give it a strong toss too. Go with a dare. After several hard swings to gain momentum, a dare lobs a grappling hook towards the window's ledge. Success. Only need a 13, Mike. Cool. 
The coiled uh, rope whips like a snake in the air as the hook cuts straight for the open window. It clanks against the stone sill as Adair yanks the slack tight, ensuring it holds secure. Okay, used up our item, but that's okay. So let's climb up then. We shimmy up the rope to the window. The grappling hook bites deeper into the salt water slick stone as you clamber over the window's ledge and into a dark room. You stand, dusting your hands off as you glance around. Alright, we're inside, boys. We're inside. I think that's worth using a grappling hook. I don't expect many of our crew could actually climb up there successfully, so that's for the best. 